All right, we continue this morning with the Cheshire home invasion. The second suspect's trial begins in about a month. So let's send it out to Fox Connecticut's Tom Lewis. He's live in New Haven with more on what's going on inside the courtroom today. Good morning, Tom. Sarah, good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, there's been some developments here in the uh, second Cheshire home invasion trial, this one of Joshua Komarsarjevsky. Now, yesterday, defense attorneys, including Jeremiah Donovan, took a long shot and tried to get Dr. Pettit suppressed from the courtroom for the second trial, saying that he was a complaining witness and not a, a victim in this case. Now, that was immediately rejected by Judge John Blue. He said to the defense attorneys that you will have your chance to cross-examine Dr. Pettit during testimony. So Dr. Pettit will be allowed inside the courtroom during the trial. Of course, this is a victory for the Pettit family. Dr. William Pettit says that he has every right to be in that courtroom to represent his wife and his two daughters. It's hard to imagine the second Cheshire home invasion trial going forward without the presence of Dr. William Pettit. But that's just what defense attorneys for Joshua Komarsarjewski were pushing for. Claiming Dr. Pettit was a complaining witness and not a victim, Komarsarjewski's attorneys wanted him banned from the courtroom. But that's not going to happen. It's definitely a victory for crime victims because they get acknowledged that they they have a right to cert they have certain state constitutional rights and they mean something. The law clearly states that any victim of a violent crime or the immediate family members of a deceased victim may attend all court proceedings that are part of the court record. Saying that he should be excluded because he has opinions about what happened to him, anybody would have opinions and be you know angry about what happened. We're very happy that the state's attorney and the Office of Victims Advocate uh, reasserted the rights of uh, victims to be present during criminal proceedings. Dr. Pettit was a stoic presence during the uh, first trial of Stephen Hayes. He, of course, was convicted and sentenced to death. There was more action inside uh, the courtroom in the hearing room for uh, Judge Jean Blue yesterday. He uh, ordered the defense to release the phone numbers, names, the addresses of all the potential witnesses that they plan to call. Now, today will also be a busy day. There will be a decision made by Judge Jean Blue on whether or not to allow statements made by Commissar Jeffsky to the police on the day of his arrest. Reporting live in New Haven Court, Tom Lewis, Fox Connecticut. Thanks, Tom.